Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about how to transfer your Nintendo drum set into a mini professional a drum, a electric drum, so which can actually be controlled or be played from your laptop. So uh, let's get into it. So first you need a Nintendo drum set. This is the uh, drum set that you can buy uh, for like 70 or 50 bucks. and. Uh, the first thing you need, you don't need the Wii controller, all you need the drum set and this uh, case for the controller, that's all there is. Uh, important thing is this port. Uh, so what is the idea? So the idea is very simple. What we are going to do is that this controller here actually takes input from all of these drums uh, or pads. So this input then come out of the MIDI output. Uh, output here so for this we are going to use to transfer this signal to our computer we are going to use a MIDI USB converter so this actually converts your MIDI signal and provides a USB output so this actually have a MIDI input actually it has two of them and then it actually uh, also have MIDI output uh, which is a USB output so this actually will go to your computer so this is how it works the signal from here goes to this MIDI converter this converter then puts the signal to your computer and then I'll show you how you can use that computer the signal and interpret the signal as a drum uh, but the, here's the problem the problem is uh, you need power for this because this uh, to actually uh, get the signal from here to this controller you actually need to power up this part so let me take this part out so this is the part that actually is going to take so this is the input that actually goes from here so which is uh, all of your signals from these pads that actually goes into through this port which is here and that actually gives you uh, the output into here which will use the uh, MIDI to USB controller to get the signal into your computer so but for that you actually need to power this up and this is uh, let me open this so that is the power cable before that we need to open this so if you flip it up there is actually a way to open this and you can open this pretty quickly and now you can see after I open the cap this is easier for me to actually look over this uh, port so actually the power is this so from the top the third port is actually your negative power and the second port from the bottom row is your positive power so you will have the layout actually in the screen so what we need we actually need a 3 volt or a 5 volt power to actually power up this controller so you can power up this uh, connector using several ways uh, one of it uh, one of the possible ways is to use battery to actually uh, connect this those ports but I am going to use USB port uh, to power this up so if you have a normal USB cable or USB a cable it has actually four connectors the middle connectors are data in and data out the uh, connectors from the left and the right these two are actually the power connectors and actually I already found out those two so the green one actually will be the positive and the black one is actually the negative so those are the two powers that actually we will uh, be using to power up this so so this is that controller that I was talking about there is the cord and so let us open this now this is more accessible here uh, and we have the USB uh, 
power so this is the USB uh, a port and I just uh, cut out the cables and found out the positive which is the screen one and the negative is the black one so let me actually uh, show you how to connect that so now you take the black the negative port to go to the first one on the top row the, uh, by first I mean the rightmost pin there you go and now the power or the positive goes the middle in the second row you have to be careful so that you don't break anything so there you go so now this part is done so now everything is connected we have the connections ready so we'll just cover up this and from this side you have that connector uh, connected inside we need to secure this so that these connections don't actually uh, come out uh, to do that we will use a duct tape So that part is secure so it will go inside and the other parts are also inside so now this thing can be powered using a USB port so this is done. So in the second step we will take this which we have connected and uh, make it ready to power using the USB port and put it back into the drum. So we will connect this to our computer using a USB port. All right, that should power this one up. But how do I know that it is being powered? So for that, you need this. So this is your MIDI USB converter. So put one of the inputs into your Wii controller, so which is here. So I put the input, which is marked here as input so now we have the other part of the cable which is the USB we'll plug this into our computer so after you connect uh, the controller to your computer then you'll see this uh, light is glowing uh, but we need to test that we are getting input from this through this line of MIDI input into this uh, con converter so this light should go on when we have uh, input use your drumstick and try to try to make sound try to make contact and see if that light is glowing so that means that the connection is actually working and now just to give you the recap uh, this was your drum we actually have a power cord which is going from here through this USB line and that is this USB port our computers USB port is powering up this board the board is getting uh, signals from these pads through this MIDI input and that is going to our converter and the converter is converting the signal into a USB signal which is going to our computer okay so now the software part so the hardware is done your drum so now we need the software to actually run the drum so for that first you need a max 8 uh, uh, we can download it the demo version from here I'm gonna give the link in the description below and there is the max 8.0.8 it has Mac version and a Windows version I'm using a Windows computer so I'm gonna download the Windows version which will give you the zip file which you can download I already downloaded this zip file so uh, I don't have to download it again and then now you have the zip file and now you have it when you unzip this zip file you get this uh, folder which is called mat 
6808-64. There's this uh, installer here, which you, if you double click, it will go through these installations. Uh, you click next. Uh, I've already installed this, so uh, I don't have to install it again. But if you uh, are, if you don't have the software, you go and complete the installation. And after that, you uh, what you will have is uh, Max8 uh, software like this. So this is your Max console. Uh, now this is up and running, so we'll just put it in minimize condition. And now the second thing you need is a Wii drums patch. So there's a patch for this software that will enable you to actually use your drums. And that is given by uh, Rui Fernando. Uh, he actually created this video. I'll give the link in the description. I highly recommend you to like his video. Uh, he actually give you a uh, if you go to that uh, video, uh, there is a link. I'll give this link in the description below. If you click the link, you'll get into this zip file, which you can actually download. And after you download this, uh, I already downloaded this. So it's called We Drums version 2.3b. So after you download that, you will have this zip file, we drums version 2.3b. If you unzip this zip file, you'll get this folder, which is called we drums version 2.3b. Okay, now that is good. Now let's go back to our Max console, go to file, click open, and go to this we uh, drums version 2.3b. And there, uh, there is a Wii Drums 2.3, and there you have this Wii Drums version 2.3 dot max pat. If you click and open, then you'll have this console. So now everything is connected. So this uh, drum is connected to the computer via the USB through this converter. Now we open the Max 8. Um, if you click on open and then click on the maxpad we drums version 2.3 you have this uh, interface and now if i actually put the drums it is making the sound as intended uh, i can change my volume up and that will create a very As you can see, everything else is working. So, uh, here you can change the uh, audio status. So, uh, the sampling rate is this. You can actually put the sampling rate to be higher, the vector size. Uh, the signal vector size these things are nice uh, and good and So the input device is this the output device you can put it into any of the output device. I am putting it into speakers so Hi, so this is how you can create your own electric drum in your home using this uh, we electric drum set and Thanks for watching. I hope it was useful for you. So I'll come uh, with a new video next time. If you find this useful, please click the like button, uh, comment if you have any problems, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.